too got cuddly all of a sudden. Hmm, there's still something off about that place. Phew! All right, everybody, the interactive ghost experience is over. Now, I hope we all understand what it must have felt like to be a ghost in the French Revolution. I'm just going to say it. This is a strange way to run a cafe, right? Yes. I can't help but feel like Gloria just doesn't know what she's doing. Oh, yeah. Boy, howdy. I'd sure love a nice latte before I hit up the cell phone store. Say, fellas, do you know where a hipster like me could find one? You see, this is what I mean. We got to help Gloria. Well, my good hipster, you've come to the right place. Hey there, Gloria. We found you a new customer. Uh, guys, stop using the front door. Gloria, we're getting a little concerned. All of this secrecy, how are customers supposed to discover your cafe? It's fine. This is the way I want to do things. You, you wanted coffee, right? Oh, yes. It's nothing personal, Suge. We're just trying to give you a little push in the right direction. After all, you worked so hard to get that loan. But I didn't get it. What was that, Gloria? I said I didn't get the loan. What are you talking about? I tried to get approved for the loan, but I failed. I was so worried about letting you, no, letting myself down that I risked opening an illegal cafe because I thought that maybe if I succeeded at this one thing, it would prove I'm not a total loss. Gloria. Oh, Shug. Well, I'll be. What a crazy situation. And it was exactly what I wanted to hear. Huh? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Officer Keys? Yes, undercover me. I knew something was off about this ghost cafe, but I wasn't quite sure what. We all know spirits love abandoned buildings, and they love to drink coffee. Everything seemed above board, but that's when it hit me. If there's one thing I know about ghosts, it's that they love saying boo, and not a single boo was heard, not even a little one. You would have gotten away with it too, Gloria, if it hadn't been for a meddling Keys and his partner, Officer Cuffy. Woof. The number of times I've parked on this street. Thanks for being so cooperative, Gloria. The profits from your illegal coffee stand were just about enough to cover all the fines for your trespassing. Safe travels. Well, that could have gone a lot worse, right? Uh. I'll just drive now. I got some words for you. I can take a guess. You were right, and I don't have what it takes. Nice try, but you need to hear this. Grandma! You lied to all the people who were trying to support you, and you ended up breaking the law. You couldn't take no for an answer, put everything you had on the line, and took a huge, ridiculous risk. Kinda reminds me of myself. Sorry, what? Well, I probably wouldn't have gone with a French theme. Or broken the law, right, Ma? Yeah, uh, sure, yeah. The point is that I'm real impressed. It takes a lot of passion and cleverness to run a business, and you've proven you've got the grit of a real green. Which is why I want to make you an offer. Offer? I got a bit of money squared away from my retirement, and I'd like to use it to invest in your business. Plus, I can supply you with some free labor. Hey! Alice, I... Well, are you just gonna stand there sobbing, or are you gonna make a decision? <laughs> Thank you. All right, no need to get mushy now. Feels good to be doing things the right way. And what a great way to help out Gloria. Help Gloria? This ain't no charity. You hear that, Missy? I expect to make all my money back and more. Yes, ma'am. Ah, working with Gloria again. You just don't mess with the proven formula. Oh, hey, new cafe. You must be Gloria Green. No, it's Gloria plus Green. My name isn't... Oh, forget it. Big City Greens will be right back on Disney XD. Feeling down? Piff, are you feeling all right? <laughs> Is life a little nutty? Ah! <laughs> Need something to make you feel better? Ah! <laughs> you! Me! Barry! Your little branch is here! Kiff! Hang on! <laughs> gotcha! Ow! This is gonna be nuts! Come on, Barry! <gasps> Yikesiola! Kiff! A new series. Yay! <laughs> this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. That's a lot of pressure. Of course! Ah! Yeah, loosen up. I know it's a no-stress day. I soil with mnemonics. Life is never dull with ladybugs for pets. 
Pest Control. So what do you think of my show? Do you dig it? Get it? Uh, Papa, as much as we enjoyed your song, I'm not sure a TV network will find your program as uh, sustainable as your farming practices. Dad, we love you, but I think what Tilly's trying to say is, your show sounds boring! Cricket, it's not always nice to tell the truth. Hmm. Okay, oh, hey, Mr. Green, some friends and I are volunteering at the community garden this weekend. Any chance you could tag along to offer- It would be my honor! Who needs their own TV show anyway? Um, yeah, cool. Thanks. Bingo, bango! Welcome back to Big City Greens on Disney XD. No! I did not see that coming. Well played. You know that I got it. Take my frog, got a rash on my leg. Drop the dust eggs. I got splitters in seven to ten. And tomorrow, I'll do it all again. <laughs> is perfect. The service, the coffee, the music, the ambiance. Oh my gosh, Terry, leave a review already. <laughs> we did it. The cafe is a perfect A+. Congratulations, Gloria. That's a testament to your leadership. You mean our leadership? You're not the boss. You don't lead anything. Okay, fine. But my grandma co-owns the place. That must make me something. You should be happy you're not the boss. It's a lot of pressure. I don't even think I can handle it sometimes. But apparently I can! A plus rating, baby! Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a perfect cafe to run. And I've got a garden to mulch. <laughs> Gloria doesn't know what she's talking about. I bet I can run this place no problem. Great job, boss. We did all the work. While you sat there and did nothing. Yep. Being the boss sure is great. Hey, boss. I finished counting the bean inventory, and we're at 1,287,003. Thank you, Gloria. However, it seems like you missed one. Oh. <laughs> Get back to work. <laughs> Classic me. A perfect rating, a perfect rating. My cafe's gonna B plus. Why? The crepes are too spongy. What do you mean the crepes are too spongy? Are they crazy? Yelling at technology? Been there. Someone left a bad review and ruined the cafe's perfect record. Ooh, in all caps, savage. What can I do about this? Hey, Gloria, we're getting a line out front. Not now, Cricket. I'm busy. Can't you handle it? Hmm. <gasps> You mean, like a boss? Yes, whatever. <laughs> All righty, my first order of boss business is... Um, can I get a coffee, please? Yeah, yeah, that'll be my next order of business. But first... Hey, Tilly! Now, I know you've been playing music for Gloria, but as the new boss, I'm gonna need you to... Sorry, Cricket, but nobody tells Alouette Palm Fritz what to do. Who the what? My stage persona. Alouette is an independent contractor and thus outside your boss man purview. Uh, well, then who am I going to get to do my work for me? Wait, I know. I'll hire somebody. <laughs> it seems the hierarchy of power has shifted, which gives me the perfect opportunity. Alouette Pomfrey can finally introduce her stage persona, Angelina Seesaw McFeatherhat. This is bad. This is bad. Calm down. People only write those reviews because they got nothing better to do and want to feel good about themselves. That's why I write them. You don't understand. This isn't just about me. Oh, no, 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 no. These reviews are public. Everyone in Big City is going to think we're a mediocre cafe with spongy crepes. You mean people read those? I can't. 
just invested in this dump. We gotta do something. I know. If only we could figure out who Community Sue 72 is and... Oh. Wasn't even hiding it. Sue! Come on, Mrs. Green. Let's take a little trip to the community center. Hello, everyone. I've got a very special song I wrote with a very special message.